welcome to another segment of A Hymn A Day in May. My name is Peggy Graff, and today I am pleased to have some special guests with me, Dr. Tim Brewster and his lovely wife, Susan. Here's Tim with a few words about the hymn they have chosen for today. Enjoy. We're going to sing Charles Wesley's beloved hymn, Jesus, lover of my soul. He wrote it in 1738, which was the year that John and Charles Wesley had a powerful experience of their own assurance of God's love and grace for them. It was published first as a poem in 1740, and it was not until after Charles Wesley's death uh, that um, it was published in a hymnal for the first time. Since then, it has been published in more than 2,600 hymnals. The great American preacher Henry Ward Beecher said about this hymn, I would rather have written that hymn of Wesley's than to have the fame of all the kings that ever set on earth. It is more glorious. It has more power in it. But that hymn will go on singing until the last trumpet brings forth the angel band. And then, I think, it will mount up on some lip to the very presence of God. Charles Finney, the revivalist that was associated with the Great Awakening in America, sang this hymn on his deathbed in 1875, as it brought him great comfort. And so now we're pleased to, to sing this song for you during this time when we are needing to be reminded of the presence of God. Jesus, lover of my soul, let me to thy bosom fly. While the near waters roll, while the tempest Thank you. 
Jesus, lover of my soul, let me do thy bosom.